Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm doing another Walmart haul. It is in two parts because I was in Walmart today and I purchased a few items and I also have a Walmart grocery order on its way right now. So why don't we look at what I purchased when I was in Walmart today and then in a little while when my shopper arrives with my groceries, we will do, I guess, part two. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so as you see, this is not 100% groceries. There are a couple of items on this counter that are not. So let's start with the Wall Pro, I guess, trimming kit. I took off the packaging. I was not planning to do a haul video, okay? So this is sort of a last minute decision and you're not seeing the packaging, I apologize. Now, and it will do the job, okay? So did I say it was $59.96? I think so. Now, I also purchased a lighter. I have like a number of these, like anyone else. I use it for candles. I don't use it for the barbecue. I have an electric barbecue, right? I know somebody who uses this for cigarettes. <laughs> anyway, and that's not me. So I purchased this and that was $1.48. Okay, not bad. 1.4 liter kombucha. That was $9.97. Now, anytime I order this, well, many times when I order this on my app, the shopper always calls me or tries to get me to pick an alternative because they say it's out of stock. It's not out of stock. In fact, what I should have done today, and I can kick myself for not doing it, I should have photographed where exactly it was in the store. But however, I did do something else. I made a mental note of the fact that this size bottle of kombucha is beside the tofu at my Walmart. Okay, so the next time the shopper messages me, phones me or whatever they do and tells me it's out of stock, I'll say, go to the tofu. You'll see it there, okay? I purchased coriander and that coriander was 97 cents. I'm gonna make a shrimp dish tomorrow, so I do need the coriander. Now, what is next? Okay. Green onions. Scallions. And these scallions cost 74 cents. We have ginger. That's a lot of ginger. You're probably thinking, what the heck is she gonna do with that ginger? Anyway, this ginger weighs hmm, 0.865 kilograms, and it was $4.71. So what do I do with all of this? I chop it up, I freeze it, I put it in a Ziploc bag, and I put it in my smoothies, okay? And of course, if I'm cooking, I take out a knob of ginger from the freezer and it grates really well. So there you go. Turmeric. The turmeric weighs, sorry if you're hearing sounds, I live in a condo and the people upstairs are making some sounds. Hold on, let's take this out of the bag just so you can see it better. Okay, so the turmeric, let's see how much I paid for this. Uh -huh. I paid $2.37, okay? And you're probably wondering what the heck does Michelle do with this? Well, I put it in my smoothies as well. I will chop it up just like the ginger, pop it in the freezer and take it out as and when I need it. Just little knobs of it, see? See that? That's gonna go in a smoothie. All right, fresh turmeric, you know, anti-inflammatory, what can I say? You gotta do what you can. Green pepper, where are you? Okay. So how much was the green pepper? The green pepper was $1.55, okay? And once again, we have the wild wonder tomatoes. You're gonna see this in most hauls I do because, well, I put these in my lunches and then what is left over, I use in dinners throughout the week. 
So let's just take, oh yes, of course. Uh, we have, well, you know what? Organic strawberries, okay? <sighs> Once again, selected an error, okay? $5.47. I don't need organic, but this is what I saw, this is what I grabbed, and this is a lot of money to spend on 454 grams of strawberries. But what can you do? What is done is done. So there you go. After my shopper arrives, I will do part two. Okay, see you in a couple of minutes. The groceries have arrived and my shopper did a fantastic job. He got everything I wanted. Let's get started. We're gonna start with the oregano. It is 72 grams. And that cost $2.97. I also purchased Raisin Bran. Let's move that. Here we go. Now, I did not purchase a large box, and there's a reason I did not purchase a large box. I spent $2.97 on this box that weighs 425 grams for a reason. If my offspring likes this, I will buy a larger box next time. I don't really have cereal, but the offspring does. So let's just try this out, okay? Again, $2.97 for the Raisin Bran. The next item I want to show you, I'm just going to point it out instead of, you know, wrecking all of this organization. It is the Chapman's Yukon Ice Cream Cones. And how many are in there? There are five. That cost $5.37. Okay. The next item is the Dr. Utker Pizza. Okay, it is the Casa di Mama. Oh man, it's, oh yeah, I'm reading the, okay, so thin crust with rising edge, and it is, I'm gonna move this because it will not disrupt the organization. It has pepperoni, onions, mushrooms, and, oh yeah, pepperoni, onions, and mushrooms. It's the classic Canadian. Canadien classique, okay? <laughs> There we go. Everything is in French and English when you're looking at packaging in Canada. So the next item is the Appetina Feta Cheese. This is not in stock every time I try to order it, but for the last two weeks it has been in stock. This cost $5.47. It's 200 grams. The contents of this will be divided by five to go in my salads for lunch when I go to work. It is the Grey Ridge 18 pack of eggs. $5.47. The same price as the Appetina. Today I purchased one bag of 2% milk. This bag equals four liters. Now I have another haul. Well, I have a number of hauls where I show what we do here in Ontario and in Canada with bagged milk. I'm quickly going to show you. This is what we do. We put it in one of these jugs that you can get at the dollar store or they sell these in every grocery store. You cut the corner off and like I said in my last Walmart grocery haul, if you live with other people, you find that piece of plastic everywhere. In fact, before I did my haul, I picked up a plastic corner off of my counter. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> it wasn't me who opened the last bag of milk. So that bag of milk cost $4.69. Next is the silk almond milk. I purchased two. Each carton is 
1.89 liters and each carton cost three dollars and 97 cents I did try this in my smoothies last week and I was not satisfied <laughs> I didn't like it however I do feel better now the ear nose and throat specialist told me I should give up milk and of course I'm not willing to give up milk 100% okay this is all related to sinuses <laughs> you know and while my sinuses feel a little better I didn't like it in my smoothies okay so why did I purchase this silk almond milk because my offspring likes it so that's for me that's for my offspring lays original chips and they're wavy okay see look at the french can you pronounce that um after how many years of taking french in school probably 10 years <sighs> everything in canada is in both french and english i purchased these for two dollars and 97 cents okay and the app i shop on always has some sort of special but you know i don't want to buy three bags of these okay like maybe i should but if i buy three bags i'm going to eat three bags no thank you i will buy one bag at a time and save my waistline that's all i have to say <laughs> so i thought what i would do is show you this i'm just gonna turn it on find the on button no oh okay here it is this will do the job definitely uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with that purchase. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you pay, where you live, for these items or similar items. Thank you for watching.